In this video, we'll cover how to use a schedule template to import session data. The template is really great if you have a lot of sessions to manage. Um, it's really easy to set up the spreadsheet and import it into Builder and see your information all in one place at one time. So let's go ahead and dive in. Here we are in Guidebook Builder. I'm going to click on my schedule inside my guide. The first step to this process is downloading the template. Um, I can't make up my own schedule spreadsheet. I have to use the one that Builder gives me so it knows how to read my information properly. So I went to my schedule and I'm going to click Data Import. Here we can find the template that we need. So I can either pick up Schedule XLS or Schedule CSV. Either of these file types will work. Let's download one of those. I'm going to open this in Excel. You can use Excel, you can use Numbers, OpenOffice, LibreOffice, any of those will work. Um, we generally recommend, you know, LibreOffice or OpenOffice because uh, you won't get any uh, like accents or special characters messed up. Um, Excel sometimes has a hard time with special characters, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go ahead and open this in Excel. Let's zoom in and make this a little bit easier to see. When I open this document, there is some sample information so you can see how the document works. Also, some instructions are listed here. Don't forget to delete our sample data, so when you're ready to upload your information, make sure you get rid of the sample information to keep your data clean. Um, also, here's another reminder to keep row one unchanged. So these bold headers where it says session title, things like um, room location, description, these bold column headers up here in row one tell Builder what information is in this document. So let's make sure we leave those the way they are so Builder knows how to read the spreadsheet. So I've got the instructions down. I'm going to go ahead and clear those out um, because I don't need them. We'll keep my column headers unchanged. We'll look at the sample data here. So um, here's a sample session of you know, some presentation taking place. The name is required, the date is required, and then the times are required. So these first four columns are required information. You'll notice that in this other example session, we do have an all day session here where the end time is not required. That's only the case if it's an all day session. Otherwise, you have to have a start time and an end time. The rest of this information is optional. So we have our location, we have the schedule tracks, we have descriptions, and then we have some options here for attendance management. So if you are um, managing session attendance and you have, you know, seat limitations or you want people to register, you can also use a spreadsheet to manage that and set up those um, components here. But let's scroll back over. Um, so we have some sample data. I can also add another one. Let's say there is a welcome breakfast, oop, welcome breakfast taking place. Um, you know, we'll keep that date there. And we'll give it a time. Make sure you denote AM or PM. And then everything else is optional. So those Four, first four components are required, but everything else can be um, added later or added if you need it. So just go through row by row and add all of your session data to the spreadsheet and then click save. So I've saved it. I'm going to hop back to Builder. I'm looking at the import schedule data screen, but let's remind ourselves how to get to that screen in case you close out of Builder while you're working on your sessions. So um, in my guide, I'll click on schedule then I click on data import and here I am at the import screen. Again, I used a builder template. I could not make up my own, so I had to click on this to download it. I've added my sessions and I'm ready to import them. So import schedule, I want to select the file from my computer. Here it is, schedule template, let's open it. Builder's gonna say, just to make sure, is this the one that you want? Yep, that's the one. Let's import that information. Builder's gonna work on it. And so let me know it's ready to go. I will receive an email. I'm checking on my other screen to make sure I got this email and it says, success, your sessions have been inserted successfully. So let's refresh this page. If you don't get an email or if you get an email that says whoops and it has an error, just um, take a look at that error message. It'll tell you what you need to fix. Maybe your date is formatted incorrectly or you're missing a session name, something like that. It'll tell you how to fix it. So here are the sessions that were in my spreadsheet. Again, you can have hundreds of sessions that you import all at one time. We just did four for the purpose of this video. If I click on this, I'll see the information matches the fields that we see in Builder. So my description came through, my name, the dates, all that good stuff. Same thing for this one. I see that information came through 
very quickly from the template spreadsheet. If you have any questions about getting all of your data to fit into our template, or you receive an error message and you're not quite sure how to fix it, anything at all, anything we can help with as you work on your schedule template, please feel free to reach out to us. Our email address is support at guidebook.com.